This is going to be quick show you how to do it tutorials by just giving you the formula for being able to highlight rows of data manually without VBA. You can automate it with a very simple little bit of Visual Basic added, which you can cut and paste. All of these are in the description field. You don't need to write any of them. So it's um, highlight a row manually or highlight a row automatic. Same with columns. Um, you, we can have the manual version. It's just using the simple conditional formatting. And we take the exact same piece of code to automate it if you'd like it automated. You may just need to highlight a cell. So again, I've got the manual version of highlighting a cell or where your location. And using the exact same BB code, we can automate it. All of the previous examples stay within my selected data range, but there's two other examples not using conditional formatting, vertical and the columns and the horizontal rows, no matter where you are in the entire spreadsheet. And likewise, one example of doing the same for the cell, no matter where you are. I think this one's useful if you're doing training because it really does highlight the area you're working on. Plus, you can do the following highlight sections of data for your training, and this will all change color. So for this video, let's just go quite simply through it. You have a section of data. You want the ability to uh, using F9 or editing to highlight the current row that you're working on. It's as simple as this. You take that formula, which again is available in the description field of this video. You would copy that formula into memory. You would highlight your table. You would go conditional formatting, new rule, use a formula and you would then paste the that formula in the cell and go to format and uh, pick your colors for either the font and the fill. That's it. It's as simple as that. It's just a one line conditional formatting and then you go and paste it in there. Make sure you've highlighted all the cells you want it to, to be, relate to. Um, and then it will stay within those fields. It's not going to come out um, out of those fields. Right, slight modification technically to the, well, take the same program again, but now you, you don't want it to be manual. You want it to be automated. Then you would simply add this little bit of VB code into the sheet. And now it will be automated. It will be changing the row um, without you needing to F9 or edit the cell. Um, you will need the developer tab. That would be file options. Go down to always where is it? Customize ribbon. I think it is customize ribbon and tick box developer. So there it is there. So you tick box the developer and hit OK. To add that uh, text in, you would simply go to developer, Visual Basic, choose the correct tab name. And this particular tab is where are we now? It's VB. Uh, row one and paste it in. That's as simple as that. Make sure you've highlighted the correct sheet that you're working on. Sheet five is named VB row one. Paste that in and all of a sudden when you close VB down, you now have an automated sheet and you would paste it into all the others. I'm going to speed this up a bit now because there's the conditional formatting for doing the row. Exactly the same for the column. All you're going to do is paste in a slightly longer formula into conditional formatting. And now you have a cell, uh, um, a tab that when you F9 or edit will uh, move to your current location. Again, it's the same code that you would go into Visual Basic for that particular tab. Go into it once more, you would then pick your next uh, or whatever tab you're working on, paste it in into something called worksheet, and it will then fully update the sheet for you. Close down Visual Basic to get back to where we are. Again, if you just want to sell, just use the different formula. It's available in the description field. Pick and choose your colors. Maybe you want to add borders, whatever you want to do. When the cell is selected, then you come to Visual Basic and you literally paste in that same little bit of code you're cutting and pasting. So there you go. It's as simple as the same Visual Basic in all of them. If you don't want to use data formatting or conditional formatting, there's two um, um, other options where the, all this information is available. You can cut and paste it from description field. This one is using Visual Basic Cyan, um, so it's not using any conditional. And this one just highlights rows and columns.
for the entire spreadsheet doesn't care about your data or where your data is it's anywhere on the sheet and it will do the crosshairs so again remember this one is just copy that data from the description of this video go to visual basic for that particular tab paste it into a worksheet save it and you've now got a cyan colored crosshairs similar again there's another uh, copy and paste uh, piece of code that will obviously automate it and that's the one I like for uh, training training purposes this one is obviously automated how does it work well there's a Excel command called row and column and it's made up from um, a cell command where you say row and a cell command in bracket inverted commas called column and the simple function of these is no matter where I click if you have to look at those numbers they're busy changing so it says I'm in row one, column 11, doesn't give the letter, so it's the 11th column. If I click down here, I'm now in the 23rd row um, and column number nine. So it's useful. That's how Excel knows where we are. Um, well, how do we take that to the next step? Well, if we want to use this for conditional formatting, we just want to know one thing. Are you in my data set? Now, cell bracket row and cell bracket column is different from the row and column formulas so here i'm actually expanding that by saying b4 which is my first um, cell of my data is that matching these numbers so it's combining that function into does that location match that same for column uh, the column of b4 and um, is that also equal uh, to the uh, formula cell column. So it's just looking for matching. It's just matching that data. So let's have a play around. If I click on C4, you'll notice that the rows is agreeing with me. I'm in the same row. In fact, no matter where I click, am I in the same row as that yellow square? True. Well, let's try columns. Am I currently in the right column? No, I'm not. But you know, can tell if I click there, that's going to change to true. So those two formulas are just saying, am I in the correct column? Now, obviously, clicking there will give me both are correct. Yes, and uh, for the horizontal, the row and the column will now match. So you can see how that is changing from trues to falses, depending on where I click in the spreadsheet. Now, that's it. We've now written the entire formula because all we do is either combine it with an or or combine it with an and. An or would say as long as one of them is true, so let's try that again. One of them is true, so we get a true. Now it's either I'm in the right column or I'm in the right row, so this is going to stay true both times. I'm in the right column or I'm in the right row. And we can use that when we're highlighting all the, all the rows and all the columns. If I just want to highlight a cell, all you do is change the or to an and. So it literally now that you understand the logic of how we get to that formula then is as simple as copy the formula highlight your data set go to home see i've still got something selected go to home uh, highlight the data set go to conditional formatting new rule use a formula and paste it in and then you pick and choose what color you would like so we'll go for a fill of dark blue and a font of white and there we go okie dokie and I've already got the uh, automated this is a macro enabled workbook so already I've put that little bit of VB code to automate it and you can see how the logic is changing right obviously if we click there it will be true 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 but it doesn't really matter it just needs uh, um, sorry if the, the formula is based on that cell but once we selected them all, they all have learned from that cell. So they're all behaving in the same mode. And likewise, if we go here and I copy that formula, copy, we'll highlight all the data set that we want. I, think I made the same mistake the second time. Highlight the data set we want. We go conditional formats, new rule, user formula, paste the formula in. And this time we'll make it, uh, the fill can be dark green and also with white text. And away we go. So 
that one is working off of the horizontal and vertical and this one is just for the cell.